let's be brief. It's vlogging day 996. Gustav loves the wheel. Good morning. It's a surprisingly sunny Monday morning here in Paris. It's supposed to get cloudy a little bit later. Well, it's sunny. Let's enjoy a little wheel time and waffle time. We got to talking and I completely forgot to film the waffle part, but it was very good and had some chopped strawberries on it that were left over from the weekend. Thanks, Paul. And I was doing like, you know, quarterly taxes and uh, other really fun admin stuff. There's other stuff. Here. We'll get out of here. We're going to go to the light store today. That's exciting. The lighting bazaar that makes my uh, dreams whole and entire. I can't wait to go in there again and then uh, might do a quick wheel check as well because there's a weird little vibration going on that I'm going to have. I'm just going to ask him about. But, you know, back to computer time now and we're off I got that was a lot of admin work you know when you're kind of excited because like oh I've got a little bit of money in my account and then you realize oh I got to pay social charges we just got done talking about how grateful we are for the medical services here too puts it into a different context when it <laughs> when the rubber meets the road lots of emails for those of you who are waiting for me to respond to you on an email Sorry about that. Same with messages. I don't know. I'm just, I'm way, I think I might be eternally behind on that stuff. But thankfully, making some progress. I'm gonna go meet Richard for lunch right now. I'm not gonna be particularly unique with the uh, coverage of Paris today. This is very much turning into just a uh, Jay surviving Paris kind of a day. <laughs> just try not to run over any pedestrians here who are walking against the green. <laughs> but yeah, gonna go meet Richard for lunch. Then it's off to buy some light bulbs for my landlady as well as the lampshades. For those of you that were curious about the abajou, or the lampshades. She just wants the simplest ones, which is great, because then I can just go buy them, come back with them, buy some more light bulbs for her, and everything should be fine. That truck is making me a little bit worried about whether or not I should, maybe I should turn left now. Hmm, yeah, let's make a detour here because that is not gonna get resolved anytime soon. The joys of being on the wheel. Anywho, the weather is great. The roads are clear-ish, and life is good. I just don't see where this place is. I missed it somehow. Where are you, Richard? Google Maps had me get up. Ah, here it is. Google Maps had me give up a little early. It's right on the corner. I've seen this place. It's got lots of windows. I like windows. Nanashi, Japanese French fusion. Let's see where Richard's at and then let's go inside and give it a try. Bad, yeah. Actually, bananas yeah. okay in there? Banana in a, in a juice. Normally not a big thing, but it works. Who would have thought? Bombs. Apple. Bombs. It's like yeah, apple, lemon, orange, banana. orange or banana. I've been eating more fruits and vegetables in my life, so. Gustav loves the wheel. Gotta jump ahead because cars. Yay! But Gustav loves the wheel. He wants to he wants to race. Oh. 
No cookies for us. Marae Monday. Marae Mondays. Everything's closed. Everything. Oh well. It's okay. I we had such a healthy lunch. We shouldn't ruin it with a with a cookie. I've got, I've got a cookie take for you. We can oh, do you? Yeah. All right. I mean, yes, we should. Yeah. So Charlie now will not eat any other cookie. Oh. He'll only eat the caramel versole cookie. That's the... Alrighty. That was a delicious cookie. It's been a while since I've been to boot. This thing, there's like a weird little vibration going on in the wheel. I think I might have mentioned it earlier today, but it's, it feels like it's not getting any better. I don't know what it is. I'm gonna go get these lights and then I'm gonna go to Eru. I'm gonna see if they can hook me up with a uh, checkup. Just make sure that it's operating properly. I don't know if I should go through the, on the road or sidewalk here. Ugh. I'm thinking, I'm thinking sidewalk while it's still legal. Yeah, this feels weird. It's even worse than before uh, I hung out with Richard. So, lights, get this checked up, and then gotta go see my landlady, give her the stuff I'm getting for her, and also get on top of my self-education. I talked a little bit at the uh, beginning of the year, one of my goals wanting to set up a little bit of a self-education program, go back to school. I think I'm stumbling into how I'm gonna proceed with that. Once I have that organized, I'll talk more about that, but I'm gonna get started with some tutorials here. I already started yesterday, and I'll tell you more about that here in the near future. But first lights, then maybe wheel repairs, then get out of here. Excited to be back here. <laughs> Mondays strikes again. Oh no, maybe Eru might be closed today as well. Shoot, I'm gonna Google them first. Also, look, no bikes, no skateboards, no scooters, but wheels are probably not okay either. All right, well, this thing's kind of concerning me. I'm gonna Google and see if Eru's, you know, available. If not, I'm gonna go straight to the metro to get this thing home because it's not behaving. Just in case this thing craps out on me, I'm gonna take sidewalks and maybe bike lanes the whole way there. No more car traffic. Crashing on this thing on like the road in front of cars is unpleasant to say the least. Kind of freaky. I'm gonna roll kind of slowly though just to make sure this thing makes it. One of the glorious parts about living in Paris, made doubly glorious by having this wheel, is that everything is really, really accessible. It's not hard to get around. The city is not that big, although there are certainly some uh, streets and sidewalks that are a little excessively narrow on the upside. Got lots of broad, flat, smooth places like this that make it really, really nice. It's just really fun to ride this thing too. Ah, oh, but it's, it's acting up. I don't like, I really don't like how it's acting up. So I'm gonna concentrate on, you know, not, not uh, tumbling. I'm wondering if my wheel is flatter than I realize. It's hard to see. I've been giving it little checks, but I need to buy a pump for it. Anyways, that's enough like thinking out loud about my wheel situation. Let's get to Eru. These are so nice. I love this place. Seriously, if you're gonna get a scooter, get it from them. Eru, I'm telling you. Well, he inflated. Oh, I feel so much better now that he inflated it because I definitely was due for an inflation. We'll see if that vibration. I maybe I'm just. He said he didn't notice anything out of the ordinary, so maybe I'm just a little extra sensitive to it since I've been using it a lot more recently. Who knows? I kind of feel like riding on this brand new bike path for a second, but I also kind of feel like just going straight home and getting back to work. It's been a. Uh, hold on. 
Well, it's been a relatively unproductive afternoon. At least I got a lot done this morning, even if it was the more depressing side of what you gotta get done in a day. I'm gonna go ahead and bounce on home, get a bunch of work done there, maybe go for a run. I'm probably gonna leave you here. So I'll see you again bright and early tomorrow morning for another day bouncing around Paris, getting ready for my thousandth vlog. Hopefully that comes together well and you know, just uh, running. I've got some errands I definitely need to run tomorrow, so we'll, uh, we'll get out and about in Paris again tomorrow. I'll see you here for that. <laughs> Quick progress report. The vibration feelings are improved. I think I might have just needed to inflate it. I gotta buy a new pump. I bought a pump for this thing uh, that sucked, and now I actually don't even know where it is now. So, uh, Air pump's definitely on the list. Anywho, I'll see you. I hope you're having a great day wherever it is you are. I will see you tomorrow, you know, for more Paris.